In today's video, I take this old 23 gigabyte hard drive and we do this, and then we do this. So for the longest time, I've tried to fix this Seagate 23 gigabyte hard drive from 1997, and I just can't get it to work. So I say, let's open it up. So on here we have one main motherboard controlling the entire hard drive, and along here we have these two, I guess they're called pin headers, I can't remember what the name of it, or actually, I guess these would be pin headers, these would be like inverted, I don't know. Either way, there must be some pins sticking out of the main board going into this, so if we pull this off, we should be able to get it off, as you can see, oh yes, so these, all these pins, go up through the board and into these holes where it's connected. That's interesting. It looks like it's almost burnt. It's, oh. Yeah, that, that's soaked in oil or something. That's weird. I'm such an idiot. I wonder it's not coming up. There's all these screws in it. Check that out. This will make a wonderful gyroscope. Looks like our outer seal is coming undone. There we go. So this is a lot simpler than I expected. I was thinking there'd be a tiny circuit board. Oh, there is. Well now. So we can see that we have those wires going into this same purple connector that we saw on the outside going through this ribbon cable. It's actually, wow, it's pretty stiff. That is a stiff ribbon cable. Oh, that's a little thinner over here. And it goes to this blue circuit board. Now, this blue circuit board is really interesting. It looks very interesting. I don't, I don't know what that blue is. Is that cir the circuit board or what? We have a potted chip on there. I can't remember the name of the chips that aren't actually in dip packages, but oh well. You know what I mean. It's actually glued onto the circuit board. I yeah, like the swing arm right there. I'm gonna tear up the platters, but whatever. Oh, so you can pull out the lock. And let it spin. Nice. Now on this arm, there is a huge ass magnet. I wasn't thinking it was gonna be magnets this big, but damn, look at those neodymium magnets. Those are some big suckers. Oh shit. Man. And here we have 14 platters. 
I'll mount it up. That's amazing. We'll flip it over very carefully. Whoops. These packets came out. They are to absorb any moisture that gets into the drive. Now I'm going to add this gasket back on there, or whatever it is. And then we can add the circuit board back on there. Make sure all the, all the pins get pressed through. And I will add the screws back for the motherboard. Oh yeah, you all want me to do this. You know it. Power on. I must say, this thing's pretty amazing. Weird Stuff Warehouse has like six more of these too. Well, six more of this exact model. They have like 50 more of just other models though. So I'm tempted to buy the same one, but then also I want to just get different ones and see what's inside of them. So this has 14 platters. That's 28 read write heads. That's amazing. Man, I just can't believe it. So now, of course, let's try to take off the magnet. I'm not so sure if this will work or not, though. If I do get these apart, I am keeping them locked away in different parts of my room because I do not want these to crunch together. That would be probably catastrophic. Or at the very least, they would never come apart again. Oh. 
I thought these would be longer. Okay then, never mind. I guess one is short and one is long. Ooh. So I, I can screw this one back in. And I can screw this one back in. To keep them together. And just undo this one. Okay. So now it keeps it together as a big assembly. I want to be careful with this because I know magnets very rarely erase things, but I don't want to start waving this around and erase every every SD card and hard drive I have. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good magnet. I may have to tear apart some more of these. Oh, and I just realized this magnet itself is made up in little chunks that are like one-sixth of a circle. So if I got one more of these, I can make an entire circle of the magnet. And depending on how they're magnetized, that would be pretty amazing. And thankfully, I think with how these are put together, they kind of cancel each other out. Because if you had just one of these... If you had just like one of these, it would be pulling the magnet really close to it from just this far away. But I have to move it like this close to do that. And here we have the field coil for the reed right head. That's held together very nicely. It's very stiff. Now how would this be undone? I'm thinking it would be undone by popping off this screw, if that is a screw. Ha! Huh. Boy, do I love it when something just works. Or not. Well, let's see. Oh, look at that. There's a metal cap underneath there. That would be it. So that's interesting, but no screw underneath there. It's interesting that I can't undo this, though. Well, I guess the only option is to undo these just enough so I can lift all the platters up and get the heads out. So that's just a compression fitting? That's so weird. There doesn't seem to be any... Whoa! So the platter can rotate on the head, possibly. There is no, like, key to keep it on the same location. That's kind of scary. So all these can just move up. Oh man. But that may just be what we needed. And look at that. I'm going to set that down there. I'm going to put this back together. Because I don't want to break that. Well, I mean, I don't want to mechanically break it. I've already pretty much ruined any data that would be on it. Well, possibly. But it looks like all of these drives came from the same place that was using that 47 gigabyte drive I looked at earlier. And since these were made in the late 90s, and probably used for many years, there's not actually going to be any, in any interesting data on these. Wow, that's, that's a nice bearing. That's a nice little chunk of aluminium. Now the big question is, can I take this off without any, having to mess with the wires that go to the motor? Because that would be unfortunate. Oh, wait. Yeah, the wires aren't even on this ribbon cable. They're just totally separate. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So then I may be able to just pull up this.
like so. And just totally forget about this in relation to that. And there we go. Check that out. I think I'll take this out too, because now that I've had my grubby little fingers in here, I'm not too worried about having dust in here, because I know there's going to be dust in here. So there are six wires going to the motor. So I could always control that with something else. But let's add the circuit board back to it and see if it's capable of running the motor without the read write head. Because it may just like give a bunch of errors and lock up. It is so light now, it's funny. That little bit over here is still pretty stiff. I'm going to clean that off a little bit. Let's grab our power. We'll plug our power in. Give it some electricity. Nice. Just realized I should probably make sure. Oh man, that's a lot of momentum. I'm glad I remembered this. Make sure I tighten this down right. Yeah, some of these are loose. Processing. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh. What the fuck? I think I can do something with this. Heck yeah. Seems like the motherboard is a bit flaky because it keeps hitting the capacitors and stuff, but oh well. We can maybe hook an Arduino or something up to it to send in a PWM sig signal to the motor, so we don't have to worry about that. And here when I just started being able to not buy these, these hard drives at Weird Stuff Warehouse, I find another interesting cool thing to do with them, so I'm probably going to go buy more now. Ah oh, well, like the past five times I've gone to Weird Stuff Warehouse, I've gone out, I, I've come out without getting one of these. I was like, I was really happy about that, but that's probably not going to happen now, especially since I discovered the great gyroscopes and those freaking huge magnets. Hell yeah, these are a good, really great source of parts and fun just for fifteen dollars. I'm really glad they canceled each other out, because otherwise I would not, would not have been able to pull this apart. To be honest, just removing this weight, which actually, yeah, that weighs about as much as the rest of the hard drive. Just removing that increased the gyroscopic ability so much. Yeah, I guess this, this has a little bit of weight on it too, but this is the majority of the weight. Neodymium is pretty heavy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!